Hey, how's it going? Today, we are out in Oklahoma on top of a hill in very close to the Wichita Mountains. And I suspect this hill had significant history. <laughs> yes, and we're going to search around and find it. So, let's see what we can find. I know there's stuff up here. Lots of it. Alright. See ya. Yeah, well, I got into my second signal. The first one was shrapnel of some kind. Is that a smoothbore pistol bullet? It could be. Interesting. Look to it. Definitely a piece of lead. Alright, moving on. See ya. And another one. Ringing up about 73, this one. Not very deep. Only about two inches. Okay, see ya. Just laying right on the ground. Yep. Love it. I have about five of these now, I think. Five or six. And there's a ton more. It's loaded in here with these. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, moving on. Huge piece of artillery shrapnel. Yeah. Nice. Moving on. Yeah, so I've been hunting for a little while and finding lots of lead and even artillery shell pieces. And I just found an artillery shell piece along with a piece of lead in the same hole. So I'm suspecting that it was lead shot. So let me show you what I got down here so far. And this is the one I just found. That's a piece of artillery shell there. And that piece of lead was laying inside the same hole. And there's another piece of shell. And I believe that's a fuse. And a whole bunch of lead. Which is probably shot and not musket. I would assume. Yes. There's something moving around in the woods. <whistles> Critters, birds. Oh, that's a squirrel over there. He's way over there inside the tree. They usually don't break branches. <laughs> they usually don't break branches. You can't hear them. Maybe it's a deer. Maybe it's a buffalo. Alright, let's keep looking. I'm looking for buttons. Military related buttons. Buckles. Um, of course, you always find the bullets and the lead and the artillery and <laughs> all the other fun stuff along with it. So, Alright, let's get back at it. We'll see ya. Yeah, found a nice base to an artillery shell. This will help, uh, definitely help identify what these were. And they were filled with shot. Interesting. So it's probably some kind of anti-personnel troop. You take out the troops with them. Interesting. Curious to see if there's any writing on the bottom of this shell. Nice. Alright, moving on. See ya. Yeah, I got another artillery shell base. You can see the rings on it still up here. And uh, this is the, that's the base right there, just like that. That's a big one. Thick too, look how thick that is. Nice. Okay, moving on. See ya. So we got a little bunker here. And it's facing out that way. And snake skin and you know, the funny thing is, is I'm finding a lot of that lead shot right here. <laughs> so, artillery's coming down, blowing up, and that shot's coming out. It would be hitting right here. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, they're right in the line of fire for sure. All right, well, I'm getting out of here. I'm going to head to a different spot, so beautiful day anyways. All right, see you when we get there. Well, I hope I can get back through that. That's kind of really muddy right there. I came, uh, I came up, spun around, and then came up this way. It's pretty muddy. All right, well, this pond doesn't have any real known significance, but it's a natural pond. Natural body of water attracts people and animals. So we're going to search. We're going to go up in here and search and uh, head that way. Check it out. See what we can find. See you when we find it. Oh yeah, I picked the right spot. That's for sure. I don't know what size this is or what it is. Again, I'm not a, a bullet expert, but look at that. No primer. Black powder, yes. Yeah. 40 something, 70 or something, if I can remember right with these. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Nice military bullet cartridge. That could be late 1800s. Yeah. Early, early teens or so. Sweet. Moving on. Let's see if we can find more of those. All right. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of interference here. Five inches deep. bad signal when you have this much territory to cover just go after the good signals <laughs> like that probably a can is it a can? what is it? yeah it's a can lid see it? ration ration lid or something like that. I have it in relic mode. And just doing fast scans and looking for hot spots. Stuff out here isn't that deep. That one's going to need the shovel. Alright, see you in a minute. Well, this is interesting. Just found laying on top of the surface. I can see an S on it. Had something else over here, but. I don't know. It's lead. It has a design on the back. I don't know if this was a, a lead seal to something. Probably. Interesting. Okay. Those could be quite old. No telling. Alright, we are going that way. Just ride the top of this and see what we can find. See ya. Yeah, I got a loud 26 signal. I'll have you dig it with me. See what it is. This stuff isn't that deep. Which way do I want to flip this? Flip it that way. I still don't have a pinpointer. I need to get a pinpointer. And I'm still researching metal detectors. Still haven't figured out which one I want to use. I know the uh, 
Oh, the macro is like the hottest thing right now, but I don't know. I don't know. I have to see it in action more. All right, we're going to need to detect this again, aren't we? It's small. Okay, let's hit that real quick. Let's see if we can find it. This stuff is hard to find with all these little tiny rocks. Is that another seal? It is. Let's clean it lightly. It is. Another seal. Alright, moving on. See ya. And yet another seal. I don't know what these were for. I don't know why they were for. But I know I found them. Yeah, there's a wire in it right there. I can feel it. Yep, these are seals. Yep. Lead seals. No telling. Have to see if we can figure out an age. Okay, moving on. Going that way. Well, they were blasting artillery up here too. Artillery shrapnel right there. I imagine. I imagine they pulverized every little top of the mountain over here. <laughs> All right, moving on. Well, let's do a wrap up. I think I'm going to be done today. I've searched a lot of territory and I've dug a lot of holes. You'll see when you uh, see how many things I have. Yeah, but check it out. All right, we got a lot of lead. Yeah, tons and tons of lead. A lot of this, I believe, is just shot that's found inside of artillery shells. And of course, we have bullets of every make and model, military related. I found a nickel. Yeah, 79. And there's a penny in there somewhere. There it is. It's all flat memorial. I, I imagine there would be some coins around this pond over here, so. And then I did find some. Uh, I found a little plastic strap, modern, semi-modern. All this stuff is pretty modern. 1900s-ish at least, you know could be uh, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, <laughs> 60s. <laughs> uh, we have a ton of lead seals. Some have the metal still in them. So I'm not sure what they are. We'll get them all cleaned up real nice and see if there's anything on them that'll uh, give us a clue to what it is. I uh, got a little M1 Grand uh, clip. Yeah. <laughs> And this was the prize. This is what I'm looking for out here. I'm looking for these old cartridges, um, old buttons if I can find them, um, whatever I can find. We'll clean this up real nice and see if it has any writing on it. It's too bad it's squashed, but it's still nice. And then a whole mess of artillery shell pieces. I'm going to keep these. Um, they make for nice talkative pieces when you clean them up. Uh, especially, you know, ones with the base and you can see and, and then the, the base and the stripes on them you can see so and I believe these are probably some kind of insert that went inside some of these something like that I don't know yeah and it was a gunpowder cap or something like that I don't know not an expert at this but we're getting there. <laughs> Find enough of it, you learn enough about it, right? So, alright, so headed down the road. I gotta see if I can get out of here. <laughs> it's awful swampy down there. I'm gonna head up up the hill there and see if I can't catch the trail on a drier end. But alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next time.